Okay, here today we have a Samsung. This is a uh, model NP300E5A. And I know there's a thousand videos on YouTube about the power jack replacement on these. What well, we've done the typical power jack replacement, as you see here. And if you've had this model and you've replaced this power jack and you put the laptop back together, you plug your charge cord in, you have no contact. It's still showing no charge, the laptop still don't turn on. What they know, nobody's ever showed you about this model is this power jack is not your only problem. Yeah, your power jack could be broke, but what they don't tell you is that right here, these are uh, SR310 dot surface, these are surface mount diodes. We don't tell us that jack gets broke, sometimes it can short and blow these diodes. I'm going to show you, I have a regular diode here, which I use for this testing purpose. Which you can use an ohmmeter is what I originally do, but I'm going to show you. Right. Oh. There you go. I'm holding the diode over the blown diodes, which are showing completely open, so I can do this. If you notice, now we have a charge light. It's showing the motherboard is actually receiving power now. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bad diodes and we're going to replace them. This is a very hard thing to do so you want to be comfortable with uh, being able to so you know, with a soldering iron. There's one. So got a little bit of the... Well, we'll clean these pads up. But... There's one of them removed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take me a little no clean flux here. I'm going to clean my pads up. here. Just want to clean my soldering pads up a little. Still got a little gunk on one. Got a little more flux on there. diode had a little end of it break off. Okay. Now we're done with this big iron. We're going to have to get a little smaller one because it's a little more detailed work. These are our replacement parts. They look like little specks of dirt. I know. This can be quite entertaining. Now you have to make sure when you go to solder these in because diodes flow electricity only one way. That is their job. They have a uh, band on them, which you can look on uh, YouTube here. They have other videos show you how a diode works and stuff. But you'll have a marking on the diode, which I know you probably can't see it, but the band is right there. So that means this diode goes this direction because our power flows this way, and the band always goes towards the... Uh, neg what I would consider the negative side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my iron, I'm going to take my silver bearing solder, which that's all I use. I'm going to tip my lead a little, right here. Get a little solder on that. This might not be the prettiest soldering job in the world, putting this one in place, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, we got that leg started. Take me 
a little more silver here. I'll try to tip this side down. Oop, looks like I need to move my uh, part this way just a little bit. Had it too far on the pad, it couldn't get uh, good contact on the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna redoctor this other end a little bit so it looks a little better. Okay, now I gotta grab my other diode. Have to look at it, find uh, the direction it goes. Okay, goes right like this. Oop! I dropped it. Okay, yeah, we gotta look at it again. Make sure we didn't flip it over. Okay, I'm gonna try to use a little pair of tweezers I got here, which are actually not real little. But that way I can set it on the board without dropping it. Okay, got that set on the board. Get my little solder. Take my little screwdriver. Get it in place on the pads. Straighten her up a little. She's a little creaky. Okay, that should be enough to hold it while I get it soldered down good on the other end, and I'll go back and touch that end up. Okay, now let's touch this side up so it looks good. Okay. I dropped my cord. Now we'll plug our cord in. And there we go. That is fixed. We now have it working. So now we'll reassemble the whole laptop, which there's a bunch of videos at, so I don't need to really show you how to reassemble it. But there is your repair. And we have proof that we are charging. I hope this helps you all out. Uh, I hope some works on other model laptops that you are having this issue with. So please uh, subscribe, like, share, and keep watching my videos. I'll keep coming up with uh, more stuff. So y'all take care.